All right, once you have your model textured, then you're going to want to export the low resolution object and the textures for use in some other application. So this is a relatively simple process. All we need to do is we need to go up to File, Export Objects and Textures. And what you're going to export, you can export in any number of formats. I prefer to use OBJs. But I will just pick a folder here. So after you tell it where you want to save it, it'll ask you which textures you want to export. So you can export color, which would be your diffuse map, roughness, metalness, which would both be black and white maps, and, and then the normal map. So this will export these to the exact same directory as the OBJ file. So you can pick their format. I usually go with Targas, but any format will work. And you can hit OK. Now I'm going to hit Cancel this time because I don't actually want to do that. Because some one way you can get a little bit more control is if you export the object and the textures separately. So we can export objects and textures. And I'll just pick the same name again. And I will just tell it not to export any textures and hit OK. That will export just the OBJ file. Now if you want to export the textures individually, like if you want to export them to a different file directory from your models, then you can go up to Textures, Export, and you can export the color, roughness, metalness, and normal map for the tangent space low poly mesh. So do that and you would just Take a file name and then choose an extension and export it. And it'll export these maps. You'll have color, your normals, your roughness, and your metalness. Once you do that, you can import those files into whatever application you wish and you can work on it inside of that application. Now, if you want to import an object for painting. Let's talk about the workflow for that. The way that will work is you can go to File, Import, Import Model for Per Pixel Painting. So I'm not going to bother saving this. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick a model that you want to import. So I'll pick some that I already know look good. All right, let's pick this one. And when you import it, it's going to ask you to create a UV set and some texture widths and height. So I'm going to leave these at the default of 1024 by 1024, but you can pick any size you want. And I will hit OK. And it's going to import an OBJ. And it will import also the well, we'll import the UVs along with that. So if I select wireframe here, you can see these are my UVs. Let me turn that off. So now it has normal and roughness and metal channels, but you didn't import any of those images, any of those files. So let's do that right now. First one I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to textures, import, color slash albedo map. And I just have to find my way to that directory again. I go to textures. I have. And it will import it into the color channel. Right down there. And then I can also import the normal map. So not the world space normal map, just the normal map. And here we go. 
and it will ask you for some normal map presets. You can choose the software you're working with. And there you see now we have our normal map. And then we can also import the roughness and the metalness. So I'll import the metalness first. Oh, whoops. I hit export, not import. My mistake. And because metalness and roughness maps are both um, just black and white maps, it won't accept an RGB image. It'll ask you to pick a channel. So in this case, any channel will actually work. So there we go, imported the metalness, and now, lastly, I have to imp import my roughness. Salt R. And there we go. Now I have all my channels set up from textures that I made, albeit I made them inside of 3D Coat, but this is how you can import them back into 3D Coat. And now I can start painting on my object here. I can just pick a layer or make a new one. And I can start painting. Now in this case, you may see that I'm painting green here, and even though my metalness value is set to zero, the green value here looks like it's made out of metal. And that's because my metalness map was imported on top of that. So I can use the this icon here on the very far right, just drag that down. And now if I paint on layer six, you see that it's no longer looking like it's made out of metal. So once you've, made, once you've made any tweaks that you like, you can again just go through the exact same export workflow that we talked about minutes ago.